Hi everybody and welcome back to Learn English with Chef Joanna and today I'm going to go over three common business idioms, so phrases used in a business context. Alright, so let's get started. We have three idioms. The first one is top of the line. The second is iron out the details. And the third is on somebody else's dime. So let's go through them. Top of the line, we use that a lot in, um, well, of course, business settings, but also with products. So um, new products like cars or phones or computers or uh, even machinery like ovens or refrigerators. Um, since I'm a chef, I like to look for the best refrigerators and the best stoves. So I would say I like those top of the line appliances. I like the top of the line stove or top of the line refrigerator, which would be like a really good brand, um, like Viking. Viking is a good brand for an oven. Um, then we can also use it for um, top of the line smartphones, top of the line uh, laptops, top of the line cars, which would be maybe like um, a Land Rover or a Range Rover is a top of the line car because it's very luxuri luxurious. Sorry. Um, then the second one we have iron out the details. So. Um, maybe you don't know or you know what iron out and iron is something that makes your clothes uh, more um, flat and looks very good so this needs to be ironed <laughs> because I wore this on purpose because uh, so you use the iron to iron out the wrinkles in my shirt so we use this in a business way in saying um, if we're working on a deal or a project and there's a lot of people talking, um, going back and forth, oh, are we going to add this feature? Are we going to add this feature? Oh, I'm not sure. I have to think about it. Um, so once it's almost complete, that the project's almost done, uh, we can say, oh, we'll just have to go back and iron out the details. So um, that means like there's small details like, you know, the project is almost done, but there's maybe something uh, small that we need to adjust or fix. Um, the third and last one is on somebody else's dime. So this a dime is a uh, the smallest coin that's 10 cents value. So there's the penny, which is one cent, the nickel, which is five cents, the dime, which is 10 cents, and the quarter, which is 25 cents. So this phrase is on somebody else's dime, meaning um, that you're going to buy something that somebody else is paying for. So if I work for a big company like Apple, and I say that I'm going to go to London for work. Um, I'm going to maybe take out a colleague or somebody that I'm going to meet for business. And they'll say, oh, I'm going to pay for this. And I say, no, um, I'll pay for it because I know Apple is going to pay for the lunch. So it's going to be on Apple's dime, um, it's not going to be on my dime, so on somebody else's dime.